One day, you log into your account to check your campaigns and you've noticed you're not getting any impressions. You've noticed that there's been a significant drop in impressions and you want to understand why. Why aren't your ads serving? You think everything's okay? Well, today I'm going to put your issues at ease. I'm going to break down the six most common ways I see accounts drop impressions suddenly. So this will give you a breakdown as to the biggest issues you find that cause your ads to stop serving when you really want them to. Stick around to the end because the last two reasons I give are probably because of something that you've done. So up first, one of the most common reasons I see people start to lose impressions all of a sudden on Google Ads is because of significant edits to their campaign. So what do I mean by significant edits? Well, if you make any significant changes to your campaign in terms of the budget, in terms of the bidding strategy, in terms of launching new adverts as well, all of these are seen as quite significant edits to the Google Ads campaign you're running. And when you make changes like this, even changes that should deliver more impressions, like for example, increasing your budget, sometimes Google has to understand how to deal with the changes you have presented. So if you have started running brand new ads, or if you have changed your bid strategy from one to another, say you've changed it from manual CPC to target CPA, or even target CPA to maximize conversion value with a target ROAS, these are significant edits and Google has to relearn how to spend your money. I know, right? Google learning how to spend your money. I get the irony. But if you've made a significant edit like this in the last three days or so, give it a little bit more time. I've seen campaigns take many more days than just three, maybe even five or six days sometimes to turn around and start spending. If it takes any longer than that, then it might be another issue which I might go into in this list. Reason number two, this one is very common and it's because you are just getting outmuscled by your competition. They are being more aggressive and you haven't reacted yet or your bid strategy can't react to it. Okay, so say you're running a campaign and you've set yourself a target CPA of $50. That CPA will continue to be the target that Google uses to optimize your bids at the point of auction. But say your competitors want to get even more aggressive and they want to target a higher cost per conversion, maybe $60 or $70, meaning they're willing to pay way more for their traffic in order to get conversions because their threshold of pain in terms of that conversion cost is way higher than yours. Or maybe it's even manual CPC where you're setting your bids at a certain level and your competitors are on manual CPC as well and setting their bids at a certain level way above yours. Well, both of these scenarios can impact your visibility. If you're not adjusting your campaigns and your competitors are getting more aggressive, you're going to get left behind and you're going to start losing impressions. So what can you do about this? Well, you've got two choices. You play the game and try and get more aggressive as well, which will of course increase your click costs, or you stay where you are, which would of course negatively impact your volume. Yeah, I know both choices don't sound very good, but you have to make one of them. Ultimately, if you want to continue getting the volume of conversions you are getting when your competitors are willing to pay more for theirs, you're going to have to play the game as well and compete if you want to get more volume of conversions. And if you can't afford to compete and you're just going to make losses if you pay too much for your conversions, you have to stay where you are and accept a lower volume. That's just the nature of the Google Ads auction if somebody's in an auction and they bid more than you, you don't win. That's very unfortunate, but it's true. The next reason is an interesting one because it's something that you might not spot straight away, and that is if your ads get a limited status. So what's a limited status? Well, Google assigns ads a limited status if they have some kind of issue with a potential trademark crossover or crossing over into industries that are seen as more high risk, Google will give your ads a limited status. Sometimes you might be running a campaign that doesn't have a limited status and then it changes to a limited status once Google understands the nature of your product and service. And when they give you that status, you're going to get a massive drop in impressions. Google will limit the impressions to basically make sure that their audience performing searches aren't necessarily harmed by your industry. When I say harm, it's because of certain industries like pharmaceutical or gambling, which technically can cause harm in some ways. But if Google deems your ads to be in any of these kind of industries, you could get a limited status. Sometimes there's no way around it. If you're a reseller of a product and you haven't got written permission to sell that product, you will get a limited status. It's just the nature of the game. And if you started a campaign and you didn't have limited status, and say, for example, you're selling something that's a an appliance or something 
something like that, that's a household brand name, and you're not allowed to bid on that brand, you might get a limited status. And that's just the nature of the game. You're going to have to play if you're reselling items like an iPhone, for example. Oh, one more thing about limited status. Another reason for limited status that doesn't have anything to do with any industries that might be seen as challenging is your website. If your website performs really poorly on mobile devices and it shouldn't be. This this is a modern era of Google Ads. If you're running a website that doesn't work well on mobile, you have big, big problems. But if you are one of these people who has a website that doesn't work properly on mobile devices and provides a poor user experience, you are going to get a limited status as well. And in my opinion, for this one, rightly so. You should have a responsive website in 2024 and beyond. What are you doing if you don't? Up next is quite a common one that can basically affect any industry and that is seasonality. Sometimes this one is quite easy to miss. You might think to yourself, why am I getting a drop in impressions? Something's going wrong here. But it could just be the fluctuations of markets. I know, for example, here in the UK, the furniture market during the summer months is very, very quiet. It's not a lot going on. And a lot of the time, furniture retailers do a summer sale for this reason, to try and drive more business. And that's just a normal seasonal fluctuation. And Everybody does it sometimes, even though you're in your industry, you just forget that there are fluctuations. You turn around at your account, you notice that in the last three or four weeks, you've lost maybe 25, 30% of impressions or even more, and you panic. But then take a step back and remember, Think of your industry trends. When do you normally see peak traffic? When do you see dips? You will see natural peaks and troughs in every industry I can think of. But there is one other thing I want to mention as well, and that is if an external force affects your industry. Sometimes something could be such a big piece of news or something that massively shakes an industry up, it causes a drop in impressions. Here's an example. Here in the UK, there has been an energy cost crisis for the last year. And what that means is basically everybody has been advised to stay with their current energy supplier because switching will be way too expensive. So what does that mean? Well, it means if you run PPC in the energy market, you can't. Nobody's looking. There's been a massive drop-off in impressions in the energy sector in the UK because very few people are willing to switch because it's going to be way more expensive because the energy companies are baking in the fact that fuel is going to be more expensive. So they are putting that price onto the customer and people are better off staying where they are. That's an example of an industry that's been massively impacted by an external force. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, these last two reasons you could be losing impressions are probably because of something you have done. First of all, have you been too aggressive with your smart bidding strategy? So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is if you're running a campaign with a target CPA of $40 and you think to yourself, I'm gonna get loads more leads if I lower the CPA target to $30 and I spend the same amount, Technically speaking, if I can spend all of that budget, I'll just get more leads because Google will have to squeeze a bit harder to get more leads for the same amount of money. Yes, lowering the cost per conversion targets on a campaign is a valid optimization strategy. You want to make sure you're paying as little for your leads as possible while delivering a healthy volume of leads for your business. And that's a fair trade-off and lowering the CPA target is a way to achieve that. But if you're too aggressive, you're going to end up strangling your volume. You're going to massively reduce your impression because Google will need to hit that new target, meaning it can't enter as many auctions that are seen as less winnable. Therefore, it pulls back on bids when it does that. It can't pay as much for traffic to compete in more auctions, so you're going to limit your volume. And that's a key reason why you could see a drop in impressions. If you've changed your CPA target or your ROAS target recently, and it's gone downwards for CPA and upwards and more aggressive for ROAS, you could be losing impressions as a result of doing that because you're too aggressive with your with your goals. And finally, this one could be your fault as well. Have you been too aggressive with your negative keywords? When I've audited many accounts and people have said they've started to lose impressions over time, their account's been strangled and they're not seeing any impact of additional budget given or any changes in impressions, it's because I've looked through the negative keyword list and seen loads of keywords blocking potential positive searches. Now, this is one of the few good recommendations Google tends to give on the recommendations page when it shows negative keywords that are blocking positive searches. It's worth reviewing this because sometimes I've gone into accounts with thousands of legacy negative keywords and I've looked at the volumes available on the Google Keyword Planner versus what the client is getting and there's a massive difference even though this client essentially has 
what is essentially an un unlimited budget, so they should be getting way more impressions. But going through the negative keyword list, we could see that there were tons of opportunities being missed because of the aggressive negative keyword strategy. One more thing to add about negative keywords as well, just a thought. Google is changing. It's not necessarily always about the search term, it's also about the person searching. Google uses its signals to understand who the person is searching and they can use those signals to determine whether or not they're going to convert less or more than other people searching in the market. Therefore, if you're very aggressive with your negative keyword strategy, you could be blocking searches from people who might perform searches that might be quite generic or a bit outside of what you might think they might be typing in, but in reality, that person could convert because Google can see that their history of searches show that they were looking for your products and services before, and they're very much in market, and you don't want to kind of stifle that volume. Give search terms a chance to fail. Of course, you need a preemptive strategy to, for things that are really clearly not going to convert, that are way outside the realm of what you're doing, but give a threshold, make sure that search terms have enough volume behind them to see whether or not they're going to convert or not. Because sometimes you will be surprised at some of the search terms that lead to conversion, especially when running smart bidding and especially if you're one of what I would call 10% of advertisers who do okay with broad match as well. So there you have it. These are the most common reasons you could be losing impressions on Google ads. Let me know in the comments if these reasons have helped you understand how you're losing impressions or let me know if I've missed something and you still need help with your impressions. Hit me up in the comments down below. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to head over to darren-taylor.com for help with your PPC campaigns and I'll see you guys on my next video.